Kazakh versus American living habits. So Asian culture, you don't have to find all the furniture. We don't wear shoes in the house. We can live like on a couch. Every apartment in Kazakhstan has its own washing machine. So I'm from Kazakhstan and I've lived in the US for five years and I wanted to compare the living habits that we have in Kazakhstan and the ones that I learned about in the US. The first one is, is the most obvious one is that we don't use dryers in Kazakhstan. We don't even have them. There's not many that you can buy or find. You can find them, but they're just like not common. They're not in any kind of houses, apartments, or you know, rentals. So that's the biggest difference because, and I loved having dryers in the US because you can easily like get your laundry done in like two hours and you can start wearing those clothes right away and they usually don't come wrinkled after the dryer. But we use drying racks in Kazakhstan and for clothes to dry that would take a, usually a day or a night. And usually they come like folded because they, they hang drying and very wrinkled. Number two, like in many Asian cultures, we don't wear shoes in the house. And I have a video about what not to do in Kazakhstan, which I'm gonna link here, where you can learn more things that you shouldn't do in Kazakhstan. But you know, it, for us, it's like gross, it's bacteria, it's personal hygiene, not to wear shoes in the house. And we usually wear slippers in the house. Whereas in the US, you can just walk in your shoes anywhere you go, any house, any apartment, and that's usually okay. Number three is counting living rooms as bedrooms in Kazakhstan. So if you find an apartment which says two bedroom apartment, that usually means there's a living room and one bedroom. Where in the US, if you say two bedroom apartment, that would be two separate bedrooms and then a living room. So that was the biggest difference for me when I was renting apartments in, in the US. I was like trying to get a two bedroom thinking that it would be a living room and a bedroom, but then that would be like actually two bedrooms and one living room. So to me, that's just one thing that you should keep in mind when you rent apartments, buy apartments in both countries. Now let's head over to the living room. There's not that many rooms. There's actually one bedroom and the living room here. And the living room looks like this. I have the couch here, two chairs. There we've got the kitchen. Fun facts about apartments in Kazakhstan. The way they count the bedrooms is actually like people count the living room as well. So for example, this one in America would be a one bedroom because it has one bedroom and a living room. But in Kazakhstan, it's considered as a two bedroom or two room apartment. Um, so that's maybe something that you wanna know if you are renting something out here. And if you see an ad with like a two room apartment, it's consider that there is a living room and the bedroom. Number four, and this might not be as big of a difference. Usually in Kazakh houses, we have special couches that do have like space for, that unfold as, uh, as a bed. And we usually either live there, we can live like on a couch, uh, or you can have guests there all the time because we love having guests. There's a lot of relatives who come like on the summer or you know, on, the, on some kind of holidays to like stay with you. And guest room for us is usually a living room with a couch. Whereas in the US, it might not be the case. Of course, couches that can be used as a bed are popular in, in the US too, but I have I haven't seen it being as popular as it is in Kazakhstan. Number five is dishwashers. And dishwashers are maybe like not in every apartment in Kazakhstan. And especially in the rural areas, they don't exist for the most part. But when apartments have dishwashers, I have like my aunt, for example, she has a dishwasher, but she doesn't use it because she thinks it's gonna waste, you know, a lot of electricity, a lot of water. So she just like uses it when a lot of guests are coming over, but not on a daily basis. And to me, that's like, why that helps you so much? And I try to use it as much as possible, but that's like so Asian culture to like use the dishwasher as a drying, you know, rack instead of like the, its actual function. And in the US, we have dishwashers in every uh, apartment usually, and everybody properly uses them. But one thing that I, that I noticed in Kazakhstan is that dishwashers are much higher quality and they just like do their job better. And number six, and this is the biggest difference when it comes to living in Kazakhstan and the US, 
US, every apartment in Kazakhstan has its own washing machine. And I have not seen that in the US where you have to like take your laundry to the laundry facilities. Usually, and if you have your own washing machine that's like very nice and you pay extra for the rent. But in Kazakhstan, every apartment has it and it's usually very good quality. And again, as I said with the dishwasher, the washing machines in Kazakhstan for some reason are better and they do their job better. And last but not least, usually when you rent apartments in Kazakhstan, they come furnished. And that's the biggest difference when it comes to living and renting apartments in the US because, you know, in Kazakhstan, you, you rarely can find uh, an apartment that is not furnished. And in the US, they're rented without any furniture and that's very common. So it's a bit more convenient renting apartments in Kazakhstan because you don't have to find all the furniture, you don't have to get everything right away. You usually are even supplied with some kind of silverware, you know, plates, cups, you know, it depends on the, on the apartment, but usually you can even get that type of thing in, in your apartment. And even if you will find an apartment that is not furnished in Kazakhstan, that it usually is going to be costing you the same. So it, it would make more sense for you to rent an apartment that is furnished in Kazakhstan. So that's all I wanted to share with you when it comes to living in Kazakhstan and its main differences with the US. And if you like this video, there's another video about seven weird eating habits in Kazakhstan. So click here. And yeah, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or requests, comment down below or DM me on Instagram. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye bye.